What's going on YouTube? Hope you're 10K yourself, love yourself, and being true to you. I'm back with another video. I'm playing, uh, this is a gameplay that I got from earlier. I'm doing a commentary, so a voiceover. I'm speaking over this gameplay. And I'm posting this on my main channel. If you don't know, I got two channels. Um, but yeah, this video, I'm just gonna, gonna speak my mind. I feel like this is what I, like, I feel like this is what I should do. Like, I'm trying things right now, so this is one of the things that I'm trying. So I'm making a video and I'm going to speak over this. I'm going to speak about whatever I feel like I should speak about, of course, uh, anything. But like I said, gameplay in the background, I don't play Fortnite. But I'm trying to play Fortnite again, so um, I'm garbage. And uh, I was playing with my girlfriend, so, you know, we go crazy together. Um, even though I'm still garbage, but we're going to get better. Anyways, besides the point. So yeah, so that's gameplay in the background. Hope you enjoy that gameplay, you know what I'm saying? The bot gameplay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. It's a journey. It's hard. It's not easy. It's we're we're, you know, I can speak from where I where I come from. It's hard to uh, be the best version of yourself when you keep going back to your old version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's so comfortable. It's so comfortable to be in that other version of yourself, and you don't realize it. And it's so uncomfortable to be a better version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you know. That's what I'm trying to do. Is I'm trying to be the best version of myself. And it's 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 it's, it's a journey. It's it, I, I, it's like what can I? It's like biting biting my nails. It's, I could give you one of those examples. Biting my nails. I don't want to bite my nails no more. I've been biting my nails all my life, right? And apparently it's an anxiety thing. I, I just I just bite them shits, right? I'm hungry. Mmm. Let me stop. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So anyway, I buy my nails. I'm trying to get over that, right? So I recently, you know, stopped biting my nails for a while and then I'm back to biting my nails. I don't know why. That's what I'm talking about is that it just, my old self starts to seep back into, into me. You know what I'm saying? It's already there, but it's just, I mean, it's, it tries to seep out of me. Like it tries to come back and just take control again. And now that I realize it's because it's a daily thing, you have to be aware of let's say you want to be better and you want to not bite your nails you have to be aware of every single day of not biting your nails right you have to it's like this thing i heard like if you want to go to the gym if you want to be healthy if you want to not even going to the gym if you want to be healthy in general and eating the right foods taking care of your body and all that it's a daily thing you can't just do it lose all the weight you want to lose be as healthy as you can and then stop and go back to doing what you were doing before it's a daily thing for the rest of your life it's a commitment you got to do for yourself for the rest of your life. And uh, that's what I've been learning. And like I said, it's a journey of learning. It's a journey of trial and error. And you got to understand that sometimes shit ain't going to go to, let me stop trying to curse, but things ain't going to go the way uh, you want it to go. And sometimes you're going to keep going backwards and backwards. You're going to feel like you're going backwards. But if you're like aware that you keep making the same mistake, eventually at some point you won't make the same mistake. So like I said, you know, hopefully y'all taking it, like y'all trying to take care of yourselves. You know, stop mindlessly scrolling, mindlessly eating bad things, bad food, not taking care of your health. Because, you know, what you put in is what you're gonna get out. And I've been noticing too, is that time flies. It's, it's crazy, time flies. I, like, like I said, I'm going to just speak about anything, whatever comes to my... I, I don't have a plan on what to speak on. I'm just going to speak. So if I ramble about anything, I'm rambling about anything. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, time flies, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm 22 years old. Um, my my little sister was up here. She was talking to uh, me and my girlfriend, whatever. And she mentioned about how she's going to graduate in 20, uh, 29, right? And I'm like, wow, I'm going to be 29 years old when you graduate. And then I'm like, wait, you know, I, that's seven years from now. And I'm nowhere where I want to be in life. You know what I'm saying? The dreams I want to be in and live in, I'm nowhere near it. So it's crazy to think that in seven years, I'm going to be 29 and I'm 22 right now. And how fast time is flying. And how the only thing that we have is right now in this current moment. So I'm try so now I have to try my best to learn to be more present. Learn to understand that you know t 
time is our real currency. This present moment is what matters the most and what we do in this present moment. How we spend it, who we spend it around, who we spend it with, where we spend it. It's very important to know what you're doing all the time because that's all we have. It's like, look at your childhood, you know what I'm saying? All the memories you have of your childhood and you wish you could go back sometimes. You know, some of the memory, the good memories, you wish you could go back and relive them. Maybe you wish you can redo them. Maybe you, could, you wish you can, uh, I don't know. But, you know, if you was more present in those moments, you probably would have appreciated it more, right? And, you know, we all as people, we all as, you know, people, we have to learn to accept but where we are, what has been done to us, and learn to forgive, learn to love, and learn to move on, learn to live life in the present moment. Because there's a saying that I seen from a video that I watched where she said, current, currency, present, presence. You know, so this is where all the power is. This is where all the the love is. This is where all the truth is, and it's in the now. It's in it's right here right now so learn to be more present learn to forgive yourself like i said learn to forgive others learn to be you to be the truth like i hope i said in the beginning of the video i was going on youtube hope you take care of yourself love yourself loving yourself and being true to you that's a saying that i try, try my best to say because it's that's how you have to live you have to be true to you you have to be true to how you feel true to how you want to live if look around you and look what you have and look at the things that are built, the games, the video, the, the video games, the houses, the highways, the cars, the phones. That was because someone believed in their own truth, believed in what they can do, believed in what they can create. And so can you. We're all part of a God, you can call. But there's no God outside of us. The real God is us. And, um we're all part of it where god is a creator god creates god is creative and that's what we are we are creative we are creative beings we get to create a life that we want to live that's why there's so many creations that's why people keep on creating things because that's what we're meant to do so living your truth be the truth create the life that you want to live whether it is what job do you want to live what kind of house do you want what kind of car do you want to drive but know also at the end of the day that nothing outside of you can make you feel better can make you be better because you're already better all this stuff i'm saying i gotta take it my own advice by the way i gotta take all all this in as my own advice it's just uh, i would say um in these videos i'll probably talk about my journey because i kind of like doing it i already like like kind of talking about my life and it's like a recap it's like i'm speaking to myself so i'm getting to understand myself and open up a little bit more um i don't even know where i was gonna fucking say yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to leave it off here because I, I already forgot what I was going to say. And I just want to see this gameplay is almost over. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll probably make another one. I'm going to finish editing this. I'm going edit, to finish editing, the, editing this. See how this comes out. And do more of these. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm speaking about my life. What I've done. How I feel. I'm speaking about my truth. And if it resonates with you, then... That's good. You know what I'm saying? If it helps you, that's what I'm going for. I want to be able to make content where people feel better. Or make just do anything in the world where people feel better listening to what I'm saying. And want to be better. And want to live better. You know what I'm saying? So the most important thing, though, is to make sure you, you know, live in your truth and be the truth. Be yourself. Do what you feel like is right at all times. And trust yourself. Failure is, uh, success is disguised as failure. So failing in life is nothing but success. It's just another way of just trying to do it in another way. You know what I'm saying? So if you fail, just try another way. Try another way. Try another way until you get it right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you enjoyed, of course, leave a like, leave a comment. And um, it's been Gabriel and I'm out.